We started to use apprentices because we saw the benefit it could provide the business overall and also the benefit to the individual. For us, it was about the opportunity of developing somebody in the first stages of their career. And an apprenticeship gives an opportunity as well, not only for us as a business to um, develop people, but also for people to get educated in the role as well as find the right skills and the information to them. And really that was the most important part of it because an apprenticeship is a two-way process. So the obstacles that I came across personally, or the challenges I would call them, is how we would fit the development of the individual into the role and, to, and the department. At the time the department was very busy, it was new, it had a lot of other um, new starters as we called it, and I was really concerned about how we would educate the individual and how we would give them the time for the assignments, for the work placements, and also just generally in making sure the individual had time as well. How I overcome that was quite simple. I actually sat down, we talked through as a department how that could work, who would train them, who would support them. Um, we looked at all the work assignments and we actually put them into a monthly planner. So yes, there were obstacles, there were challenges, but they were easily overcome. So for me, the apprenticeship experience has been great. I really believe in apprenticeships now, and I believe the young individual that we trained and developed at the time has gone on to bigger and better things. Um, it's not just about taking on an individual just to work for the business for the next 5, 10, 15 years. It's about developing an individual into an inspiring leader or to develop just their skill sets for the future. And seeing them grow and personally develop was one of the biggest things that I got from the apprenticeship. So the key challenges throughout the whole apprenticeship program, again, was making sure the assignments were kept to and that the individual could do their workload as well as their learning assignments and meeting the apprenticeship expectations. They are not only just thinking about how it works in the workplace, but how you make sure the individual meets, those, meets the requirements of their apprenticeship. Sometimes this is forgotten, and for me, that, those are the challenges that are really, really important to overcome. And it's about all planning up front to overcome those because it can be achieved, it can be fitted in, and the individuals can thrive as long as you're committed to it. And part of that overcoming those challenges was having myself committed and also the apprentice. One of the biggest successes we had during the apprenticeship was watching someone develop their confidence. Um, and that was unbelievably rewarding for us because seeing an individual who came to us and said, oh, I can't go on the telephones, I can't speak to clients, I can't pick up the phone to anyone, I just can't do it. And to see them within four to five months picking up the phone confidently, speaking to clients, greeting them, talking through complex situations, and seeing how far they had come along was such a great success. And also to see that individual actually speak to clients on a face-to-face -face basis as well, it was extremely rewarding and I see that as one of the greatest successes. You've really got to take an apprenticeship seriously. You've got to think about how it fits within your business, how it's going to work, what is the individual going to get from it. This is a great opportunity for a business and for a young individual but it's got to be taken seriously. You've got to plan in the assignments, you've got to plan in the development time at work, you've got to allow them to fit their assignments in, you've got to liaise with their tutors as well. It is about understanding it's a two-way process. It's about you as a business getting a benefit from the individual working for your organisation, but also for the individual learning and seeing that individual develop and knowing you're creating such a skill set for a young person on their first steps of the career can be extremely rewarding and it can give so much back to a business. So don't see them as challenges, don't see them as obstacles, work with it and really sort of a, really take on the challenge of thinking, how can I make this apprenticeship work for my business? So future plans for us, we're looking to take on an apprentice um, in September, October time. We're looking at currently working with the new standards, how that can develop and what it can bring to our business. 
We're really excited about the opportunity because again, it's about giving somebody a set of new skills and helping them get a qualification at the end. So um, for the future, we're looking at it. Hopefully we'll take on more as we're a growing company, but first step, September and October, we look to take on a new apprentice.